everyone welcome back to five day crypto my name is jace today we're going to look at one against usdt we're going to look at one on the daily scale and the weekly scale uh we're going to look at support resistance levels what i think uh, one is capable of and what is the general market outlook so if you like the video give us a thumbs up follow us on twitter telegram and patreon all linked below so one on the weekly chart this is a nice bullish formation right we we had our kind of our lid line here we can we can draw our imaginations or i can help you with that right and we've got the the precursor to what was coming right here we closed our highest weekly candle back on september 6th and then we had a retest of our 21 week ema which you often get in you know in nice bull runs and for the foreseeable future i would use that level uh, for any kind of pullbacks that we get along the way, which will be normal and uh, plenty, plentiful, if I if I say so myself. I do think that we will have plenty of pullbacks across all of crypto, not just one. But uh, So uh, the 21-week EMA, which is in the yellow, you can add it to your, uh, you know, your chart. Uh, you just go to trading view, type in weekly moving average, and make sure it says exponential. Uh, and that's how you get that. This, this blue one is the eight-week EMA simple moving average so those are both can be handy uh and all across a lot of coins as you can see when when one got real bullish here it pulled back the wick landed right on that eight week sma when we close under it you know this is kind of a more substantial uh, all of crypto pullback but you could see uh these wicks in through here whereas we have these pullbacks all candles are above the 21 week but the wicks often go right near or right to or just under that is often a good level to, uh, if, if you sold any on the way up, uh, to reaccumulate at those uh, those times. Not financial advice, but that's what a lot of traders are doing. There's a reason these wicks go right to these levels, because that's where the smart money is buying. So are we going to get a pullback? I don't know. If we do get a pullback, the clear level in the meantime, in the short term, would be this red line. I know that's kind of a ways down there. Let's see how far we are down. It's it's a it's a bit of a drop. So roughly, uh, we're over thirty percent away from that. So we don't have to drop to that. As you can see, this uh, eight week SMA has held pretty nice. So that line is at twenty five cents roughly right now, which would also coincide with these uh, kind of local highs right here. Uh, if we close under that, then yeah, the odds are, whether you like it or not, we're going back to this level because that was our previous all time high. Uh, and one. So if we have a pullback, I would look for there or the eight week, right? 25 cents, 26 cents, the 25, eight right there, right? This local top, which that closed at 25, five, a pullback to there makes sense. If we close under that, that makes sense. If we close under that, the 21 week EMA, which will probably be about, uh, even with that, that 20, 21 cent level, or even higher if we get it to it because it's right we don't we're not likely to just dump 30 percent for uh no apparent reason after this bullish of a move right one is looking good as well as a lot of coins right uh normal pullbacks like today we're getting a little bit of a just you know a lull right i wouldn't call this a pullback you know a few percent and when you still have coins like um you have random coins ada's going up today i think Litecoin's. Uh, you know, shooting, <laughs> shooting its shot today, 50% uh, out of nowhere. So you always get random coins, you know, taken off. But the market as a whole is just kind of a, in a little bit of a lull today, as you can see. So that's perfectly normal. Don't panic or anything like that. Pullbacks are like 10 to 20%. That's my, that's my version of a pullback. Uh, so that is the levels I'd be watching for one on a weekly scale, the big picture, right? Uh, and also, let's let's note, let's do some uh, some setting down to earth expectations for this market run. Not just in one, but for all coins. You might not want to hear it, but you need to if you want to make the most money, which is why you watch this channel, right? We're not the moon boys. We're not the hype boys. We're the give it to you straight boy. Uh, so this Harmony 1, right? Amazing move back in, you know, a year ago, right? 11 months ago started 5,000%. Okay. So coins that are up 5,000, 10,000, 20,000% over the past 12 months are unlikely to do that again. Okay. It's just facts. Okay. Unlikely you're going to get back to back many thousands percent moves, although it could be done. Nothing's impossible. So what could one do now? 5,000% is mind blowing, right? A lot of coins will do that initially on their first major breakout. 
Okay, a lot of coins even did more than that. So could it do another 5,000%? Well, maybe. Let's see where that would take us. Do we have it high enough, Gene? 5,000% <laughs> takes us, you know, to $15. Okay, does that, uh, we're at 30 cents now. Let's, let's rack our brains. Does that, does that compute? <laughs> maybe not this market run. Now, could it do it in five years from now, 10 years from now? Sure. Okay. But another 5,000% move takes us to 1550. We only have $15 and 20, 20 cents to go. Okay. You got it? Okay. Now, how about 500%? Could it do a 500% move? I think that's a little more viable. Let's see where that would take us. So 500% move for, you know, the next leg up takes us to roughly a dollar oh, between 150 to $2. Could that happen? Maybe. Is that even likely? I don't know. Uh, you tell me. You tell me below in the comments. Are we getting to $2 one in the next... I don't know. When when are we going to peak? That will certainly determine how high some of these coins go, right? So if we peak in January, Dece December, we're highly unlikely we're peaking in December. That's my opinion. Um, I think that we are more likely to peak in spring slash summertime, somewhere in here, April to July, uh, the way we're going. Now, if Bitcoin, you know, and comes around Thanksgiving, uh, December, right, a month from now, and, and Bitcoin's only at 70K or 75K, then it's highly probable, right, we're going to peak out more towards this time frame. If we're at 95K in, you know, four weeks from now, then I would say we could possibly peak earlier, uh, January, February, March, something like that. So in Q1, peak if Bitcoin uh, is, you know, a close to 100K. Certainly, if it's over 100K, yeah. The higher Bitcoin goes, the faster it goes, the sooner the market top will be in. So we don't want that, right? You don't want that. If you want Harmony 1 to go to $1.50 to $2 uh, this cycle, which is right in here, right? Couldn't we reach this? Well, you're going to need some time. Uh, you're going to need some time to get there. And here's 2022 right here. So there's not a lot of time to uh, make a 500% move. Although possible, if you have a true blow up top, a lot of coins could do that uh, quite easily. Uh, one is included in that, certainly with this bullish pattern playing out. If we come back down and then get a launch pad here, yeah, then that that would be, one will probably do quite well during uh, alt, the said alt season, which I don't think is coming until Q1, uh, plain and simple. The full blown alt season is probably coming uh, sometime in 2022, early 2022, according to me. <laughs> All right, so that's that's one on the weekly scale where I think we could go. Uh, and also little tidbits of, you know, the market cycle peak. So the daily scale, if you want to learn a little bit less uh, about the, the full, you know, the big picture, and you want to look at day-to-day, -day, right? Which I don't recommend necessarily. Uh, certainly not a day trader around here. We don't day trade. I, I make a handful of trades a year, but they're, they're big trades, right? They're not, they're not little nidbits, and I, I make a conviction trade, and I don't worry about it for months because I, I'm buying usually when nobody else is buying and everyone's just slandering said coin and nobody else wants it. That's when you make money. Not when these moves are happening, but when this move is happening, right? This from here to here, from May of 2020, you had a long time uh, to be buying one, right? All this time, this is when you buy the coin in this box. When nobody else is talking about it is when you buy it. Or, I mean, if you're real lucky and you're really watching, I mean, just buy when it's just flatlining and no one's even talking about it and just wait. But that's unfortunately not what most of the crypto does. And they like to buy this area. <laughs> and then they wonder why their coin's not doing good. <laughs> uh, but uh, look at this formation, right? So we have a mini formation of this on the weekly scale, right? We just looked at it right here. See this? These patterns play out across all of even bigger pictures. Look at the daily scale. Going back from March of 2021, look at this bull, right? A mini version of that is playing out now on the weekly scale, uh, which is the same same place, right? It's just in a bigger picture. So look at how we break out this, uh, and then we come back, and then we make another a bigger one, right? We make another bigger one, and then come back. Then another breakout, and then come back. So if we have another breakout, we could potentially come back to our all-time highs, highs here. So like if we have a breakout to that, you know, 
50 cent level, something like that, 40, 40 cents, whatever it is, you know, history doesn't repeat, but it often rhymes. I mean, look at these tops. It comes right back after the breakout, it comes back to the tops. So if we have a breakout to 40, 50 cents, 60 cents, whatever it is, Harmony One likes to revisit uh, previous local tops. So when we break out, we probably coming back, which is healthy. A lot of people don't like that, but this is exactly what you'd want to see in your coin. Uh, you can continue to main, maintain strength and maintain health by doing this. You make a sprint and you rest. You make a sprint and you rest. You don't want to have a heart attack and go straight up, okay? If you keep sprinting without stopping, you're going to die. <laughs> Harmony One likes to maintain its health and fitness. So Harmony One's looking fantastic uh, uh, structurally, uh, you know, it's got a lot of use case, so I think Harmony One will do quite well in set alt season. Uh, but now you know levels to be watching on the short and long term. Uh, this is on, on the daily scale now. The eight same same indicators, right? Same moving averages. The eight it's just because we're on the daily now. It moves to eight day simple moving average and and twenty one week or twenty one day exponential moving average. So look at these. This is when we break the eight day, we go into the twenty one day. Uh, and then if you break that, then what do you do? I'm glad you asked. You just zoom out, go to the weekly, because then these are coming into play. If you break the daily, you zoom out to the weekly with the same thing. You'll, these will, you don't have to have your chart extremely complex. Put a couple moving averages on there. These are my two favorites for a bull run move up. If you break it on the daily, both of them, you're going to the weekly. More than likely, yet all you have is the odds in crypto. So if you break both of those on the daily, go to the weekly. If you break both of those on the weekly, then you're in trouble. <laughs> if you break the 21 week EMA on a weekly chart with a candle close, you're likely going bearish for a prolonged period of time, plain and simple. All right, Crypto Fear and Greed Index, let's get to it. Back in Extreme Greed, 84. I've been saying this, this is not what we want. Honestly, we've hit our head at 84, what we did back in October 21. If you go look on the yearly scale, usually before a drop, you come up and hit your head on the exact same level that you did before. I would love to have done an 83 or an 85. 84, I'm not liking, and it's scaring me a little bit. So we will see what tomorrow brings or the next couple days, but... Uh, could one of these be on the cards? Maybe. Uh, across all of crypto. Yeah, right. Not just one. Uh, Ethereum has been on a tear up. You know, we have random Litecoin shooting up out of nowhere. Uh, could it happen? Sure. It, would it be healthy? Sure. Should you load up at the, at the dip? Should you buy the dip this time? Not financial advice, but yes, that's what I will be doing all in on any kind of dip 21 day eight day 21 week eight week those are your four moving averages to be watching and what i do personally is all dca so you start with your uh you know if you have like say ten thousand dollars you want to put in right you just you, you start at your weakest moving average which is your eight day and you do a little bit there if it drops more then you do a little bit more at the 21 day or a lot bit more, right? You do like, say you do like maybe a thousand here. And then if it bounces, cool, you still got some cash and you got a little bit more. If it comes down here, you bought a thousand here. And then I would do like two or 3000 here because this is more likely than not in a, in a bull run will hold. And then if those both break, you, ha you have <clears throat> like three to 4,000 in, right? <clears throat> You're still holding seven. So, and then you go to your weekly scale and then you do another two or three at the eight week SMA, right? And then you'd be like 6K in, right? But your your dollar cost averaging, as you go down, you want to add the more it drops because more likely in, in the bull run, your 21 week, if we get down here, it's the rest of it, like 4K or whatever your remaining total would be, would be at the 21 week with a stop loss slightly under that because if you close under that, you're probably going lower. Look right here. Close under that, even though it went up a little bit, you're going lower, more likely than not. That's the odds. So that's how I play it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. If you want help navigating the rest of crypto and this next market cycle up, and you like this kind of stuff, 
follow me. I have a free Telegram. I have a paid Telegram that's found on Patreon. And then uh, Twitter. I try to update that. I post my videos there. Uh, just to get some random thoughts there. And also some random rambling here. 15 minutes in. Hopefully this helped someone out there today. I got some Harmonauts in my, in my group. So I'm here to help you do that. I know I had a request last week from somebody. Uh, either in my free Telegram or my paid one. Please let me know what that coin was. I forget. I think one of them was one. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, and then there was another one. And I s promised I would do it. And I don't remember what it was. I've looked back. I can't remember. If you're the person that requested it, let me know. Don't send me Shiba Inu. <laughs> or the damn dog. Oh, none of the dogs. No dogs, okay? Dogs are for meant for walking. Uh, not uh, whatever the hell this is. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. I'll try to get with it and get my car of the day up. Oh, I forgot again. I just started rolling, right? Because the market was dropping. If I don't make videos at the right time and the market drops, nobody watches. So no one will probably watch this, but I have a few Harmonauts, so they'll see it. They'll watch it anyway. It could, it could go to zero. Zero! It went to zero!